I want to point out that we also have another model that has to do with the levels of relationship, how acquaintances move up to friends, yep. how friends move up to roommates, how roommates move up to companions, companions, and companions move up to lovers. Those are the five ladders that we ask you to consider. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of men, and they'll say to me, Doc, I've been married for 10 years, therefore, you know, we really know how to make this work, and mm -hmm. we're lovers. And I'll say, you know, tenacity and endurance is not an indication of harmony and happiness. Um, it's quite possible that you can be together 10 years and just be roommates. And the evidence of that is this. I have men say all the time, you knew the way I was when you met me. And if you didn't like it, mm -hmm. then why are you here? See, that's a roommate relationship. Right. So, so when I ask you to think about those five levels of relationship, how roommates, how acquaintances become friends, friends become lovers, lovers, excuse me, <laughs> I gotta go. Acquaintances, acquaintances become, become friends, friends, friends become, become roommates, 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 roommates become companions and companions become lovers. And it is a rung. And then when you see this in the, in your group room, it's in the shape of a pyramid. And you'll see it in one of the boards in the, in the room that you're in, but there's characteristics, nine characteristics that we ask you to rate your relationship by. And, and that will help you determine what level you're at. But here they are, the nine characteristics rated, rated by. It. Number one, commitment. Mm -hmm. uh, commitment changes. Commitment roommate is I do my share, you do yours, and you are who you are, and I am who I am, right. but I don't change. Right. And that's one of these things I said before about you knew the way I was when you met me, and if you didn't like it, you shouldn't be here. Whereas love relationship commitment is I will spare no emotional energy to problem solve in developing a lifestyle that we may stay together. See the big difference? I do change. And any person that said they don't change really doesn't understand what it is to be in a relationship. Because I, for one, will tell you when I first married my partner and without children, yeah, I was this other person. Then you have kids and you start to find yourself changing in your role of father and uh, you've got my role of husband. Uh, you do change, and that's going to happen. So don't ever make that statement if you think that I'm going to respect you. Don't do it. Number one, commitment. Two, unlimited disclosure. Uh, I'm telling you that for someone to love you, you've got to be able to explain to them who you are. And mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that you have to explain to them as much as possible all those things that made up you and your personality development. Number three, enhanced problem solving. Enhanced problem solving is about problem solving so that our emotions remain connected and bonded. Mm -hmm. So I'm That's problem right. solving, not for finances, not for new car, new house, new home. I'm, I'm problem solving that we can remain in love. Common values and beliefs. You know, as I said before, rules are how you regulate from the outside. Values are how you regulate from the inside. Right. You, in a fundamental relationship, you have to have enough common values and beliefs to stay together. And understand we're at a point in our society where a lot of men really don't know what their values are. And they have to figure out what that is if they're going to grow. And women are there too. Men and women, we see a lot of relationships that don't don't ever mature or become love because the members don't really know their values or what they believe in. And when they do start cohabitating and trying to form a committed relationship, they're, they aren't compatible and they split up. Okay. Number six, collaborative lifestyle. Collaborative means co-labor. I work with you. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle. Life is what God gave you. Style is how you lead it. Think about that. Life is what God gave you. Style is how you lead it. So collaborative lifestyle is how do we create a lifestyle that's neither yours nor mine, mm -hmm. but ours. Think about that. Number six, positive sexuality. Positive sexuality has to do with the fact that in our relationship, we don't just emphasize physical sex. We also emphasize uh, intimacy, emotional intimacy, the idea of sensuality, the idea of affection and, mm -hmm. and kindness and love and all those things. It does include the physical aspects of it, but it's much bigger. Positive sexuality. Number seven, shared emotional identity. Mm -hmm. If you come into my office, you'll see pictures of uh, myself and Carrie, and you'll see our kids, and we'll see our pictures. When you truly are in a love relationship, you forfeit your identity as a singular person, and you begin to identify with your children and your wife, and you see yourself as a family. You see yourself as a, an entity. And, and that's what I mean by a shared emotional identity. When I see pictures of us, yes, that's who we are. That's, that's me. I'm one of the group. Mm -hmm. Number eight, vision of the future. Important for each of you to realize as you come through our program, it doesn't matter if you're 22 or 62. Where are you going to be in the next two years, four years, six years? You know, I heard somebody once say that if you don't have a vision, it doesn't matter if the alarm clock goes off. <laughs> that's true. If you don't know where you're going, if you have no place mm -hmm. to be, what what difference does it make that the alarm clock went off? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, that one I, flows nicely from that shared emotional identity because once you vision, once you see yourself as a member of the family, mm-hmm. then you and then you see where is this family going and what where is it going to be and what are we going to be doing and how is this going to look in two years and five years and ten years. And then finally, the last thing that we're going to give you is our ninth characteristic for you to look at and measure your relationship on that, again, that ladder uh, of acquaintances, friends, roommates, companion, lover. The last one is a shared spiritual uh, understanding. You know, I've worked with so many people that they, they just have to figure out what their belief system is, what their mm-hmm. spirituality is. It doesn't matter if you're Baptist or Methodist or Christian or Muslim or, or atheist. As long as your partner and you have enough sharing in your belief system that your spirituality can, in fact, be reinforced through each other. That's what's important. That's right. It's not about what faith you believe in. It's, a, it's about is your faith common enough that it can carry you through the tough times in life. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I've gone through just about everything that, that you needed to have with us today. Please understand, though, that uh, I'm excited that you're going to be with us. Mm-hmm. I will be your facilitator. If you're a man, you're going to be doing all the men's group with me. And if you're a woman, you'll be with me. You'll be uh, with Carrie. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll see us once a week. We get to know you really well. Please try to refrain from inundating us with questions, you know, after class or before class, because like yourself, we've been at work all day. And uh, we're trying to get out the door, too, after these classes are over, except if it's something that's really important and vital, please make every opportunity to talk to us. And, and if nothing else, make an appointment to come in so that we're aware mm-hmm. that you're waiting to talk to us. Um, and I, I just want to make I'm going to make this comment. You know, this is your first first class and mo- and a lot of you are not excited to be here. We know that you're not motivated I to be here. Not the take system that, away from that you are in is is big and it's fr- it can be very frustrating and it can be anger causing and it can be scary and um you know i just i want to tell you up front we're well we receive people from that system we are not part of that system and we work for you yeah. we really believe we have put together a good program that will provide you with lots of new information for you to think about and process and figure out what might help to improve your relationship and your life and you know what might not that is the challenge for being in a in a lifestyle that's going to work in a relationship that's going to work uh, to make a decision that maybe this isn't the relationship for me and maybe it is time to leave Uh, but we are here for you Um, you know we I will ask you to just hold on and uh, listen at first and I, I know that it's hard and you don't have to be happy and and all that when you first come in. But I tell you, you know, as you sit and listen and hear the information and begin to think about how it applies, you you probably will have a change in um, your thoughts about being here and that it is helpful and that your life will improve. Yeah. Uh, as Carrie said, we're excited that you're here. I understand it's awkward. Don't worry about the first class. All the men, it's an open group process. process. They all know what it's like to go to the first class. As do the women. Um, but, you know, you're going to find that as you get to know each other, you might actually look forward to getting together with your guys, your group, and, and, and the idea of this process. Remember, it's a process, not a destination. My job is to help you feel comfortable. My job is to is to make this as, as pleasant as possible. And yet hopefully in time for you to go back and reflect, wow, I sure learned a lot while I was there. Okay? That's right. Again, one last thing, interventionsinc.com. All the materials are there. Please don't forget our radio show, Soulmates and Soulmates. If you got questions, you want to send those in. We'd love to have them. We're there for you for that. A copy of our book is available. We'll put it on your pay sheet. Just give it back when you're finished, and we'll recycle it for somebody else. Uh, again, I'm Dr. Paulette. And I'm Carrie Paulette. And we want to welcome you to Interventions. 